Hello there YouTube, I am Wheelchair21 and today is day 5 of Voltron Week or Defender Week. Whatever the hell you want to call it. Well actually I'm going to have to call it something because yeah I got to create the title for these videos. Anyways, this is the legendary Black Lion whose box is just freaking huge. It's crazy and the way it's designed it doesn't allow me to really get enough light in there to show the freaking lion. I mean it's just freaking huge. It's probably one of the largest freaking boxes I've had in a while just for an American toy. Like, let me just bend up my camera just a bit here. And as you can see, it's pretty beastly. And yeah, yeah, just, just goddamn. Just goddamn. It has a try me button, which as it says, 50 phrases and sounds. And let's just take a few cracks at it before we get into the real review. Systems compromised. We will save the universe. There you have three early sounds before we bust it out of the box. And honestly, just by hearing that voice alone, you should just be groaning and going, God, why couldn't they actually hire out the real voice actor for the goddamn voice requirements for the freaking Voltron? It's ridiculous. And the box is the same as usual. And look, look, another painted speeder that's probably not painted when we open this bad boy up. With Black Line out of the box, we can fully look at all the points of articulation. And while the overall features that it contains, such as its lights, its sounds, and sort of how it transforms into our overall torso and head. Now, this Black Line obviously looks very akin to its original form. Now you can see there are vast updates to it, mostly in the head sculpt and how the wings are shaped. However, it still is pretty much almost vintage Voltron to a T. Few changes we do have are the fact that the overall caps that cover the legs when it transforms to be the ports for the arms actually are now in the front than being in the back on the top. We also have the fact that this tail here is a harder rubbery plastic. I think it's just all hard plastic. The only thing that's rubbery should have been really the tail because it is kind of jagged and pointing hard. Pointy and hard. We have our wings that are actually articulated. They can swivel. They can fold up and down. And then you got your face and head sculpt. Really wonderful. Has quite a bit of articulation. Mouth and jaw. Pretty tight jaw. Does reveal the face though if you put too much force on it. You have your head. It can bend up on the neck here. And the actual head itself can go up and down. Really, really nice. Really solid. You also have the legs, which for the first time ever I think actually have hip articulation. I don't really think there's any regular Deluxe Voltron that has that outside of the Solo Chogokin. You also have regular knees which make a different sound, but still tight. And then you have your front legs, which I think still don't have the regular ratchets, except in the ankles. Which, for the first time, I think we have a double ankle joint here, and in here, and also has an ankle guard, which is actually pretty intricate to the overall design, I must say. I really do enjoy it. The underbelly, really good, really nice. I love the crest. I'm not really a fan of this new, like, kind of V-like shape. I'm still an old-fashioned, like, I would say European crest that it used to have in the main chest piece than it used to have, like it has now. Now, as for our LED lights and sounds, all you gotta do is switch on the switch on the back. It does come on automatically in the package, as we've seen early on. For the Try Me button, you turn it on, you then flip it over, and you press the button here on the side makes various sounds, whether in lion form and when combining it. And we're going to just cycle through some of them. Systems compromised. Now, we will destroy you. Now we go on the offensive. Let's light this thing up. Fire lasers. We will save the universe. Let's light this thing up. Fire lasers! Now we go on the offensive. Let's assemble Voltron and get rid of these Golra. Systems compromised. 
Now, as one just heard, the sounds are quite random through actual uh, designated voice actors talking and sound effects. Now, these are not the actual voice actors in the show, which is kind of a giant F.U., I think. I think for $35, you could have at least thought that they would have gotten Shiro to voice the damn thing. And as one can see right here is the storage compartment for your speeder, as well as the overall speaker itself, where the sound comes from. And it's actually an intricate unfolding process, which does get jammed sometimes due to its actual design, but it's an easy fix, just you gotta reconfigure it and plug it in. And so, with the transformation, one of the weirdest things is how the horns form. Like the old series, it does unfold from the head, but it's a lot tighter when unlodging it, and it does cause a bit of a snag for me personally, just because they're quite tight and you actually have to put a little bit of pressure and dig your nails in to pull it out. As said before, all you gotta do is pull down the mouth hard enough and it'll reveal your face. So you can do that. And then you just pull it down to we lock it will in place. Save the universe. Now honestly, I do think that the sounds are annoying, so I just usually turn them off during the transformation process. As stated before, you just fold up your arms inside here, and then you fold them like this, flip up, fold them in, and then take his hind legs and straighten it all the way out. Now since I'm not going into the overall formation with attaching it to the other lines, not until tomorrow's video, one can see though it is pretty cumbersome, it's pretty big, it's pretty long. Just by standing it on its side like this, it already takes up most of the field of range of what the screen and camera can actually record. So it's one hefty SOB. So just imagine what tomorrow is going to be like for the review. It's evaluation time, and for my final evaluation, the Voltron Legendary Defender Black Line is actually an incredible line in its own right. Priced at $29.99 or $34.99, it actually is worth that price just for the intense uh, design and molding in regards to its points of articulation, its solidarity to how the joints work and glide, and the fact that the ratchet joints themselves aren't so loud and obnoxious as the previous limbs, and the fact that it does feature lights and sounds. Now, the only disregard I have for this toy is the fact that the sounds for the overall Voltron does not feature actual voice actors from the show, I'm guessing that's either due to copyright or actual licensing and contracts with the cast of the series. But to me, I feel like had they at least gotten Shiro's voice actor to portray Shiro yet again for Voltron, the toy, it would be a more incredible purchase and really fully validates getting it more for the $35 rather than the $29.99, which I was able to get at Target for that price. And I don't really understand why the price varies between different stores, but whatever, not my thing, not my understanding, don't really care. I got Voltron in hand. The combination is pretty much the same as any other Voltron seen in the past when actually putting it into its transformation to begin the formation, so I can't really say that there's really much of a change other than aesthetics to its overall design, which are not having the old-school European like crest for the chest piece, and having these more bulkier wings, which make actually more sense for the overall toy in general and overall design. Now, when we get to our combination tomorrow, one will easily see that the sounds get even more obnoxious when they add in other voice actors to portray our other pilots, as well as the locking mechanisms may be loose or actually stiff, depending on how the individual's lions were casted and which waves they got them in due to possible mold degradation. Anyways, I'm Wheelchair21 and you can see all of Voltron Week and all of my other product reviews here on my YouTube channel and also featured at places like HeroTaku and HeroClub.com. You can like my page on Facebook, you can follow me on Twitter as well as Instagram, and we'll see you all tomorrow.